Hello, welcome to Science Chomp. Today we're going to be talking about wetlands. Now, a wetland is an area of land that's saturated with water for part or all of the year. They form in areas not deep enough to form lakes. Okay, there's three types that we need to worry about marshes, swamps and bogs. So, marshes, they are filled with surface water runoff and rain. Swamps are as well. Okay, so surface water runoff and rain. And they're characterized by having very mineral rich soil and uh, grasses and reeds. Okay, the difference between a swamp and a marsh is that swamps have a lot more woody plants and trees. So you get mangroves in swamps. The water also tends to be a little bit deeper and much slower moving. So they say that the water in a swamp is stagnant, which means it doesn't really flow. And then we've got bogs. Now bogs, they form in uh, cool, wet climates and they're formed by rainwater. So not surface water runoff, just rainwater. Okay. Um, they form it, uh, this substance called peat, which is uh, the decayed remains of uh, sphagnum moss. Now, the way you have to think of a bog is that it used to be a lake, and then it had all this moss that died and decayed, and it became meters and meters thick. Okay, so it took actually thousands of years to form a bog. Okay, and then eventually there was no lake, it was just a a load of peat, which is this acidic brown material. Okay, this peat is actually very important because people use it as a fuel source. So they burn it like they would burn oil or coal. It's uh, very energy rich. And it's also um, a carbon sink. And basically what that means is it takes carbon from the air and it removes it completely. So it's very important for the atmosphere. Okay, bogs themselves are very uh, low in nutrient content. And this means that it's got like very particular types of plants. You might have seen Venus flytraps and other carnivorous plants. Well, they live in bogs because they can't get the nutrients from the ground. So they have to eat flies and other insects and bugs and rats and things, okay? So that's the differences between marshes, swamps, and bogs. So why are they important? Well, for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, they are an important ecosystem for all sorts of wildlife, okay? So you get wildlife in wetlands that you will not find in other places. They can reduce flooding because they can store a large amount of water they can reduce erosion, particularly coastal erosion, um, in a number of ways. Basically, they can, the roots of the plants can hold the soil together. And also, um, it acts as a physical barrier to help prevent the, the coast being worn away. And also, they can reduce pollution. Now, what happens is when humans um, make these chemicals and it gets into the groundwater, if the groundwater flows into a wetland, what the wetland does, because the water is a lot slower moving, the chemicals within the sediments are able to settle down and basically get filtered and removed from the rest of the water supply. So eventually, when the water flows through the wetland, it's no longer got as much chemicals as before. Okay, so clearly, if you damage wetlands, and they do because they wetlands, you know, a lot of a lot of them have been removed and converted into farmland. Okay, and when you do that, obviously, where are the animals and plants going to go? You know, it destroys the ecosystem. You're going to get much more increased flooding because you know you no longer can store that same amount of water. Okay. Of course, you're going to get much more coastal erosion because you're removing a wetland and this thing prevents that. And of course, your water supply and the oceans and rivers and streams and things, they get a lot more pollution as a result. So that's wetlands in a nutshell. Um, you know, if you haven't got it the first time, because I did say a lot of things, rewind, watch it again, share it with your friends, see if they can understand it. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. 
Oh. <laughs>